Hey everyone, Jake with my bring back again going over some of the basics of WordPress and today we're going to be focusing on permalinks and permalinks are basically the permanent link get it permanent permalink permanent link to a post or page or category etc and so as we're on the my bring back demo site here you can see you, as we click into the demo hey world post we've got a link up here your URL that uh, gives the site name mybringback.com slash demo slash and this is the modifiable section right here so you can see this is actually the post ID so this is the 25th post on our site or whatever ID that it gave it and so that's what we're going to be modifying today because in my opinion that's kind of weak you know it just shows a post ID what it should show is maybe a title maybe the post ID plus the title and uh, in going through that so permalinks just to give you guys a little bit of background um, they are very very touchy because if you add the wrong permalink and then you make changes later to the permalinks but then you have a bunch of links in your site that go to certain articles those can become broken links so you really have to be careful as you're developing this that you don't develop something that's going to turn around and bite you in the butt later and so what I would recommend as you guys are looking into this you know depending on what your size of your website that you're thinking about is gonna be um, the bigger the bigger the website I would definitely you know do some research figure out a permalink structure that's gonna be sustainable for your future growth etc if you're doing kind of a, a smaller one I'm just gonna run you through um, individually what I would do and then uh, give you some some references that you can go to to kind of research this stuff to, to make sure you don't have that little dog biting you in the butt later alright so we're gonna go back to the uh, we're gonna go back into the admin panel of your WordPress and down under settings you're gonna see a permalink setting go ahead and click in there and you'll see you've got you know some common settings that are already in place that can actually go about and uh, you can click them it'll, it'll update your permalinks etc and this is gonna this is gonna be kind of your workarounds now you can pick one of these custom settings and you'll probably be fine you know a month and name if that's what you want to do a new numerical other than the default of just your post ID you can click one of those what I would recommend um, is doing kind of a custom structure but be careful with this like I said what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do a post ID with the post name so we can kind of identify it with those two characteristics with a post name now what I'm gonna do is below this video I'm gonna give you kind of WordPress's using permalinks what they can do how you can look into them basically how to make you know as they call pretty permalinks and uh, give your your site a more aesthetic please to it so they do help with that as well as uh, as you guys email out your links to, to other places or have link backs it's gonna give it a little bit better feel if you have the title or some other frame of reference rather than just the post ID so if you're again if you're on a smaller site I would recommend just one of the common settings or if you're gonna do a custom structure keep it simple um, there's a few things you wanna avoid you don't want for uh, performance issues you don't wanna put like a category and then your post ID then your post name um, or another one is you don't want to put tags stuff like that so there's there's a few things you want to stay away from when you're doing permalinks just for performance measures and uh, so you don't screw up your site in the future but let's go ahead and we're gonna do the custom structure post ID post name we're gonna save the option you've also got some optional things here again do some research on those before you jump into those but you can have category bases etc for those alright so we've updated that let's go ahead let's go back and see what we've changed um, so here here's the old post ID we're gonna click it and now you can see we've got post ID of 25 it doesn't have the the question mark P equals 25 it just says 25 and then it puts our title in here demo hey world so it looks a little bit better as you send this to somebody they're gonna understand it it's not gonna be a bunch of question marks and unknowns to the to the end user but it's gonna give a, a little bit better feel to your permalinks and your your URLs that you're sending out there so that's just a basic overview for the permalinks 
Again, the bigger you are, the more permalinks you have to worry about because as people link to your site, you don't want to have broken broken links that maybe you change something on your site that now whoever linked to your site is all messed up. So keep that in mind as you guys grow. Do a little research, like I said. I'm going to post uh, down below some some resources that you can look into how to make your permalinks a little bit better looking and what to avoid in in your permalink structure. So again, I uh, subscribe, give us some comments on what you want to see, what you're having troubles with, um, and we can help you out with that as well. Maybe we have some resources that uh, will help you. So all right, peace out guys.